it's been Slime Stark and today we're looking at extracting metals. So first of all, we need to know where metals actually come from. And metals are found in the Earth's crust, and in most of them are found chemically combined with other elements, especially oxygen. Now this means that the metal must be chemically separated before you can use it. Now if there is enough metal in a rock to make it worth extracting the metal, this means that it is called a metal ore. We need to know about the reactivity series now because um, the way with that we ex extract the metal depends solely on the reactivity series. Now the reactivity series as shown on your screen in front of you places metals in the order of their reactivity. Now the most reactive uh, goes to the top, so potassium goes to the top and the least reactive goes to the bottom, so uh, platinum, gold, silver, these are all very unreactive. A reactive metal will displace a less reactive metal from its compounds. Now carbon is the one which is commonly used in industry and this will displace metals which are lower down in the reactivity series. Now to do this you have to heat the metal oxide with carbon to form the carbon dioxide and the metal. Now for example if we take zinc, um, so zinc is commonly um, with oxygen it is zinc oxide. So to displace the zinc from the oxygen, you would put um, zinc oxide plus carbon would go to zinc and carbon dioxide. However, if a metal is more reactive than carbon, it, this means that it can only be extracted using electrolysis. Now, if you watch my electrolysis video, I will be doing a, a video on electrolysis very soon. However, for now, all you need to know is that it's an expensive process. Um, with many stages, so it is not as cost-efficient as um, just displacing it with carbon. Thank you, and see you soon. Bye.